Kuchenhof near Amsterdam has the biggest display of tulips in the world. The park opens every year, just before spring, to display a rainbow of tulips in every color imaginable. This is also where people come to gain inspiration for their own spring gardens. Gabriella Papa advises people about what's best for their gardens as the spring season gets underway. For me, the perfect spring garden is one that's in bloom, where the snowdrop season is over and the daffodils are starting to blossom, then the tulips and the crocuses, where you can really see what the season has to offer. Gabriella Papa has owned and managed the Royal Garden Academy in Berlin since 2008. But don't be fooled by the name. It's a nursery, open to the public, and a place where amateur gardeners can come to find the perfect plants for their plots. Alongside a cafe and restaurant, several greenhouses serve as a smorgasbord of flower arrangements. Papa likes to be hands-on and often helps her customers pick out the best combinations. You can really tell from the fashions too. There are a lot of primary colors, big colors. Pastels aren't in anymore, but real oranges, real reds, bright colors. This year's colors are very affirmative. Urban gardening has taken off over the past few years as more and more people choose the city over the country. Stefan Faustro, who lives in a trendy district of Berlin, likes to escape hectic city life on his rooftop terrace. Gardening helps. Basically, gardening means that the weather is improving. We can go out again. It's getting greener, warmer. And for us, with our terrace, it means we get an extra room. Before moving here, Stefan spent 15 years in an apartment with no terrace or balcony. So for him, gardening is a newfound passion. He's always on the lookout for new ideas. Mint has become very fashionable. Before, nobody here would have thought of planting it. But everyone has it now for cocktails or mint tea. Those who need a little more assistance in planning a garden can turn to Gabriella Papa for design ideas as well as layout. She spends much of her time helping people recreate the landscapes surrounding their homes. The result is a stunning contrast to the original. But Papa is really in her element when she's outside, interacting with her customers and helping them decide what to plant. In the end, though, the perfect garden boils down to one's own personal taste. Buttercups are important and horn violets are very pretty. I do the heavy work. <laughs> I don't follow fashions. I just say I want to bring greenery to my terrace. So I get plants that stay green all year round. I think if you're starting a new garden, you need a good mix. And plenty of shrubs, as they bring a lot of pleasure very quickly. So not just annuals. And not so many bushes, as they need a lot of time. And what's in and out for 2016? Lawns are not so popular at the moment. People prefer grass with flowers in order to encourage bees. Fruit bushes are totally in. Whereas plants often used on motorways, like gatoniasters, are completely out. So are bigger bushes, all these terrible ground cover plants. The perfect spring garden is also about timing, so don't beat around the bush. Make hay while the sun begins to shine. It's your thing. Do what you want to do.